हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू ऑल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ चैप्टर थर्टीन दैट इज एम एस एक्सेल राइट सो टूडे इन एक्सेल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एंट्रिंग डेटा इन वर्कशीट एंड एडिटिंग द सेल कंटेंट स्टूडेंट्स दीज टॉपिक्स आर साउंडिंग वेरी सिंपल बट वन एवर वी लर्न एनीथिंग we must pay utmost attention on the basics once the basics are very much clear and absolutely there in your brain it will become very easy for you to grasp the difficult topics so with this notes let's begin with today's topic so entering data in a worksheet we have five types of data that we are going to enter the first one is entering numbers second entering formulas third entering text entering numbers as text and entering date and time right so let's begin from entering numbers right when we talk about entering numbers it means the numbers from 0 to 9 and some symbols right so all these mathematical symbols are included when we talk about entering numbers right whenever we want to enter negative number we must prefix that number with minus sign before the number or and close the number in the bracket so if you are putting minus sign or you are keeping that number in bracket it means the number is negative number right and whenever we enter a number by default they all are aligned to right side right so we learnt four things about entering number number includes the number and some symbols negative number we can use the negative sign or use the bracket to represent negative number by default the numbers are aligned to the right side of the cell right then next is entering formulas so what is formula formula is a symbolic expression right so it's a symbolic expression and what all these symbolic expression includes it includes numbers cell addresses means the name of the cell and arithmetic operator and parenthesis arithmetic operators are plus minus multiplication division and parenthesis are brackets right then formula establish relationship between two or more cells a formula will be having name of the cells right we want to add the content of cell a1 and b1 so we will write is equal to a1 plus b1 so it is establishing relationship between a1 and b1 right then every formula in excel begins with equal to sign keep it in mind this may be asked in mcqs so every formula in excel begins with equal to sign right next is entering text right so when we talk about text it is a combination of both numeric and non numeric data along with spaces right so for example 45 hello 67 this is a text a 3d it's a text right so all these entries are text right now most often the text entries are used for worksheet heading names and for identifying columns of data so whenever we enter text entries that will not be included in the calculations you know that worksheets are used for mainly calculation and keeping the transaction records so this part will be in the text part right next is entering number but these number will be considered as text so if we want to enter number and want our number to be considered as text so we should put a post of before the number right for example if i enter this number without a post of so what will happen this zero will be dropped the ms excel will preserve this zero in case of telephone area code or roll number etc right so then only this zero will be considered so if we want to keep this zero before this number so we need to put apostrophe before this and this number will be considered as text right let me show you a practical example of this for example i am entering a number right so the moment i will press enter key this zero will be removed right but i want to preserve zero before this so what i need to do for example i enter some number with zero and i need to preserve this so i'll put apostrophe before this so this number will be a text number 
right now if i will apply any function on this number this number will be considered as text and its value will be a zero for example i write 800 right now i will put a function on it so i go in auto sum and use some function so this value is considered zero that's how only 800 has been taken right so this can be asked you in your viva or in interview if a number is considered as text its value will be zero and if you apply any function on this then its value will be considered zero but if you apply formula on this this will be considered as number right for example i will show you if i write if i delete this if i write f4 plus g4 what will happen let's see equal to f 4 plus g4 enter so this it has added this 800 to this value right so formula is working on this but function is not working on this right it function is cons considering it zero right so i hope you are clear with this this these are very important and basic things so you should know this now next is entering date and time entering date and time is very easy you just need to select the cell and start typing date or time so we can use slash hyphen and colon to uh, separate these uh, digits in the date and time right so next is adding cell content so this is again a simple but a very important topic right so content can be modified by two ways one is by overwriting and second by modifying the cell content partially first is completely overwriting and second is modifying the cell content partially partially means not completely but wherever the modification is required modification will be done at that place only right so let's see how we can do this so this is the excel sheet i'll select the cell now the value is 98 i want to make it 89 type the value and press enter key that's it it is overwritten right second is partial modification now for the partial modification we have four ways you see we have written four words here and uh, there is some mistake some modifications need to be done but the entire spelling is not wrong only partial modification is required so the first way is using the formula bar for that select the cell where you want to apply the modification go in the formula bar right now let me zoom it and show you the spelling is not correct and we can come in the formula bar from here you take the mouse pointer to the place where you want to apply the modification right and modification is done here now press the enter key next is pressing F2 so select the cell and press F2 so the moment you see the cursor blinking here means the modification can be done now take the mouse pointer using the arrow key to the place where the modification can be done backspace and press the required alphabet the modification is done now next is double click so double clicking i'll take it to the point where i want to do the modification right observe that edit mode is indicated on the left side of the status bar this is our status bar so it is in edit mode right double clicking take the mouse pointer to e backspace now insert i that's it now next is over tapping mode in over tapping mode double click the cell press the insert key right so double click and press the insert key what will happen it will give a thick cursor blinking in the cell means the alphabet is selected right now move the thick blinker to the alphabet to which you want to apply the modification now s is selected so i'll replace it with e right so that is over typing mode now it is done i press enter key it is done right i hope you are clear with this so that's it for today see you in the next video with some more topics so till then take care and goodbye